We love to do the mood tracker this time of year, taking the temperature of fan bases. And Penn State, it's your time. How, how's the fan base feeling up there? I think the mood amongst the Penn State faithful should be same us, but maybe new party. And what I mean by that is, if you do nothing else to yourself, if Penn State is a mirror image of the program that they've been, you go from being on the first row outside the bubble to solidly in the bubble because the bubble, or as you may know it, the college football playoff, is expanding this year. And there is no fan base out there. There's no program that stands to benefit more from that if they change nothing about themselves than Penn State. So it's a very low-risk relatively high reward sort of situation. That's if nothing changes. Now, as we all know, spring is about optimism. So we're going to go glass half full here. There is the possibility that when you lose both coordinators, it just doesn't work out. And maybe Drew Aller doesn't take that next step. And maybe Fleming's not the guy you hoped he'd be out of the portal and injuries happen. And yeah, you could, you could lose three or four games this year and it could go backwards. That could happen. No one wants to talk about that. Uh, especially the people who will watch this segment. So the hope is, of course, Andy Koldenicki, who is the new offensive coordinator, who they had to fight to get. And he's in the house, and he goes more up-tempo, and, and he moves that launch point for Drew Aller a whole lot more, gets him on the run, gets him on the move, where Aller looks to be more comfortable anyway. That works. Julian Fleming, for instance, transferring in from Ohio State works. Playmakers emerge. He uses those running backs like they should be used, and they're a very, very good one-two combo if they are. All that works out. Drew Aller does take that step in productivity. And Penn State all of a sudden has an offense to be concerned about. And they're good at edge defensively, even though you had Manny Diaz move on as the coordinator. They're good at edge. They return their interior guys. Secondary, while it's a question, you know, we've been hearing good things about A.J. Harris, the corner transfer from Georgia by way of Central High School in Phoenix City, Alabama. Spent many a night on the sideline at Garrett Harrison Stadium there, almost on the banks of the Chattahoochee River, but absolutely on Somerville Road, which is one block, friends, one block from where Meemaw used to live on 35th Street there in Phoenix City, Alabama. Uh, a lot more detail than you needed. My point there is Tom Allen is the new DC there. So in a perfect world, there's not much drop off. In fact, you got guys with a lot to prove there. There is no program that could see a vibe change for the better than Penn State this year. The fan base knows it. The fan base has been sitting there uh, not thrilled with not making the playoff, but they've, at least according to my interactions with them, largely been appreciative that yeah, it, it could be way worse than it could get better here. We'd love for it to get better, but we're okay. Okay, We're on the doorstep. We're okay. Well, um, you've been on the doorstep you should be in the house now. They made the house a lot bigger, and they said, stand still, we're going to build the house around you. And so you're in the house now, unless you regress, and then we have a different conversation. But right now, the fan base, uh, you should be thinking, hey, if, if it's the same us, it's a whole new party, and we're in the party now. We were just outside. We, we were just outside the velvet rope. We could get in it now. Over under win total, 9.5, plus 600 to win the Big Ten Championship. They are minus 142 to make the college football playoff this year. That means our friends at FanDuel kind of sort of think Penn State's going to be in the college football playoff this year. Imagine, you know, the goosies, as some would call it, that you get up and down your arm. If you live up in Harrisburg or you live in York, Pennsylvania, think about buying a playoff ticket to watch Penn State. Whew, man. That's the kind of thing that we would make like the Sean Fitzes of the world smile.